Right, um, hello, John Webb, Scott of Sci-Fi, okay, UK, Scott of Sci-Fi.com, you can follow me on Twitter, Evie DeBrake, find me on Facebook, all that other social media stuff. Um, Morgan's having a drink of water, and I'm just going to put on his, no, I'm, just for a minute, might cheer him up. Because it's a miserable day, it's a miserable Sunday, it's lockdown week five, third of May, um, and this is my last video for the day. Um, remind me to switch that off in a minute. Like you're gonna answer me anyway. <laughs> um, so double double whammy on this video. Um, my lockdown bottle for week five, and this here little number that you happen to have open. Excuse me, it's Kalila. I love Kalila. Kalila is awesome. This one is the Distilleries Edition. Distillers edition. Um, distillers edition. Distillers edition. Uh, Kalila, which is uh, basically it's like 12 year old and then they put it in for a finishing period in another cask. And for Kalila, it's Moscatel. So it brings it in Moscatel for a little bit. And he's finished. I can switch it off. Um, you've left muddy footprints everywhere, you filthy. Oh. Kalila Distillers Edition finished in Moscow Delta Cast, 43% ABV. It's got to be chill through. It is going to have colour in it. Um, unfortunately, shame and all that. I wish things could be different. But D I O G O. Anyway, there you go. Um, Kalila. Uh, can't remember if it's got an age on it. Hello, dude. Whatever you're doing, you're wrong. Uh, now I've got an audience, um, but yeah, it, it's normally I think they have a year on this. So I th always thought uh, bottled in two thousand and sixteen, distilled in two thousand and four. So this is actually an older bottling. Um, yeah, two thousand and sixteen bottled. So this is in the bottle for four years before I opened it. Oh, yeah, okay, or three or four. Uh, two thousand four, two thousand sixteen. So twelve years old. Basically, they put this in a in a Moscatel cast for about six months or so. Um, just to, it's something different to have on the shelf alongside your Kalila 12 year old, which is also another wonderful drink. 43% ABV. I couldn't tell you how much it is because I haven't looked it up because I'm useless. Um, I'm going to guess £68. That's a guess. If I'm right, damn I'm good. If I'm wrong, I'm just an idiot. So that's okay. Anyway, Kalila. Distillers Edition. I've just had a 50% Kilhoman, which has probably dulled my senses a little bit because at 43% it's a little bit light in comparison. Still very wonderful, still very delicious, still very lovely. Let's try to, let's try to reset my nose somehow. Can't look at me rear then. Wonder why. Okay. So, there's some smoke in there. It's not exactly a massive kind of bellowing crazy smoke monster it's a subtle smoke a sweet barbecue smoke some mineral 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 oh, words bit mineral sweet yeah fruity definitely you can definitely tell it's been in some kind of wine cask fortified wine in this case it's got that kind of berry fruit intensity. In fact, I'd say that the wine cast is probably quite active because there's quite a lot of fruit on this. Maybe it's been longer than six months in those casks, I don't know. But yeah, definitely a lot of intense fruit, gentle supplementary smoke, sweet vanilla, and honey, a little bit of smoke's quite coldy, it's quite cold, dusty kind of smoke. A little bit barbecue, just fantastic. It's clean up, it's lovely. Let's get some wonderful independent bottlings in Kalila, and at the moment, you get loads of them. It and Kalila is also just fantastic at a young age. You get six, seven, eight year old independent bottling cash strength Kalila. It's 
to die for. It really is. They are they have some amazing whiskey out there. And the younger it is, the more pungent it is. And it's just fantastic drinking. It really is. If you like smoke. If you don't, you're looking at the wrong video right now. Uh, anyway. For 43%, there is a ton of flavour there. There is loads of flavour. God, if this was like 46%, even 50. But at 43%, even at 43, it's delicious. It has so much fruity intensity throughout that dram. It is really bloody gorgeous. It's a little bit of clove, a whole lot of fruit, loads of red berries, very jammy, very intense on the fruit side of things. A little bit of sugar syrup. It has a quite lightness on the palate, you know, you really want things to be travelling further and a lot creamier and uh, more velvety on the mouthfeel. Unfortunately, it's not because it's a little bit chill filtered and all that kind of stuff which is a shame but it's what it is despite all that it's still actually really beautiful whiskey the smoke is more backstepped backstepped in the background and there's a little bit of um medicinal red fruits in fact i want to say cherry tunes again but i've, I've Said that a minute ago with the Kilhoman, but there is a similarity there. Very fruity, very fragrant and smoky and balanced, and it's just lovely stuff. Wonderful. Really, really enjoy it. It's great whiskey. But oh, Kalila is. You can't go wrong with Kalila. You really can't. You really, really can't. Anyway, I'll set that one to one side. Because now it's time for the silly bottle opening of um, lockdown. So, yeah, throughout lockdown, I just figured one bottle a week I'm going to open something that I've really wanted to open for ages and found excuses not to because of wait for occasion, wait for occasion. Who knows, the occasion might never come because, let's face it, we're in a global pandemic and... There's an awful lot of misery and, and death and shit out there right now, pardon the French, but you know, it is, it's what it is. Um, and to help things along and to just, you know, acknowledge life is worth living sometimes, open a bottle that I've wanted to open. Um, uh, no, no, uh, no exceptions on this week. It's a relatively new bottling. But it is one that I went, I really need to open that. I've got a long running love for the Brooklady distillery and a bigger, longer running love for Octomore, uh, the heaviest peated whiskey in the world and arguments and all that at the side of the, how heavily peated it can be and all that kind of malarkey and how it, how it tastes, even that it doesn't taste as heavily peated as some of the other ones that you taste that has got a lower PPM and all the rest of it. All that to one side, let's forget about it right now. I can talk about that more when I do the full review of this in a week or so but this is the Octomore concept x4 plus 10 so this is Octomore spirit distilled quadruply four times and then matured for 10 years in casks <laughs> i should know i should research it was expensive it's a small bottle at 50 cent liters it was expensive at 150 quid a bottle but um, what you're going to do about it? What you going to do about it? It's got a rather lovely frosty bottle. Oh, this is bottle number 600. Should I really open it? Because it's like a, a solid number. Oh, 600. It's bottle number 600. Should I open it? Should I? 
can't open it. <laughs> bottle number 600, no more. If you see bottle number 600 at an auction, somebody stole my bottle and then resealed it. <sighs> Glass. 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 Let's not go too mad. Bloody expensive. <laughs> okay, right. Cork in. Uh, what else I've got to say about that? Uh, it's no longer available. Oh, the ABV is stupid. It's 70%. 70% ABV. 70 not mental at all but then it's it's quadruple distilled so it would have been coming off that still at dangerous levels um which is probably going to explain why there'll be some interesting stuff about this so no chill filtration no added color in it's brickladdy at the end of the day that's really difficult to smell um and i think the high abv is going to have closed off an awful lot of um the the flavour side of things so this this will need a lot of water I think but there's some pungent <laughs> there's some really hitting you but surprisingly enough and this is a taller glass and it's not intentional other than just it's the glass to hand um it's a glass I've been using for every first pour of whiskey uh for the the lockdown stuff so It's very smoky and it's quite strong and it hurts. <laughs> so careful how but it's good job there is a lot extra depth. Ooh, okay. So interesting. It's quite waxy. It's quite a waxy lemony kind of polished oak thing going on right now. It's quite simplex. Again, it's a freshly opened bottle. It's 70% ABV. But it's changing as we as we talk and I haven't got a lot of time actually. So this is going to be a proper review later. I ain't got a lot of time because it's eight o'clock now and I'm supposed to be on a call with my mates. And I'm going to be. Hello Tom. Hello Steve. Hello Adrian. Be there in a minute. You'll probably see this in three weeks' time. Go, what's he talking about? <sighs> wow. Okay. It's very different, intense smells going on, which are really blowing my capability to explain. But definitely wax, a real texture to it, really oily kind of waxy texture. Definitely lemon and spice. Let's sip this at 70%. Could be worse. I have drank 82% rum. I did smash my teeth in doing it. There's a lot of trip hazards in this place. Right, okay, hold on. That hurts. But... That was good. That was good tell. Oh, you're soaked, mate. For God's sake. Woo! Wow. Okay, this is very interesting. It's intense. The ABV. I don't know if you can see the cat. Do you want to have a sniff of that? If you can see him right now, is a picture. <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> bless him. Let's talk to your cat and try and force him to sniff some. No, that's not. Um, you are interested, don't you? No? Yeah, no. Right, let me try to say what I'm tasting at least. It's strong, it needs more. 
Okay. Don't be off cool. Sweet, very sweet, strong. <laughs> Just sprayed water everywhere. Um, intense, definitely. A lot of petrol, petrol-y, diesel -y kind of thing going on. Wow, this is going to take some experimenting and time over. You're right, Tommy. Tommy. No. Okay, let's add a fair chunk of water right now. And that is a fair splash of water in all fairness. And I've got to cut it short in a moment. So my iPad's going mad in the other room. Um, okay, that's definitely bringing out a bit of smell and taste. Or a bit of smell anyway. The, the phenolics are kicking off. It's quite closed up before. Now there's a lot of smoke coming through. Smoke is intense. Medicinal. Antiseptic. Hospital bandages. Very intense. bit of barbecue, a little bit meaty, wow it's just intense, I think it could even have a lot more water. Full flavoured, smoky and sweet. Dry waxy apples, a little bit of citrus. Smoky, spicy, interesting, challenging, definitely challenging. Anyway, that's first attempt. There's a little vegetal in there as well, which I'm not so fond of in truth. But we'll give it a go. I'll have a few more of those in the week and do a proper review later. That'll do for now. I've got a call to answer. Take care. Look after yourselves. Stay at home. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Oh, sugar. I close the app. Stay safe. Bye.